Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Nali channel. Today we are going to talk about from the lean subject called value stream mapping. So in this one, we will be exploring two subject. What is value stream mapping? An example. Another one is actually like I have preserved this thing for the following video. We will also will be talking about what is called tag time, cycle time, lead time and so on. Let's explore more on VSM. Another word is value stream mapping. So in value stream mappings, you have three things you need to know uh, before we go into the subject. We'll talk about that. Uh, we need to know about the value. What is in the value stream mapping? We need to know what is something called VA. What is something called non-value added? And what is something called we have in the middle something called value enabled. So value in uh, added has got three things customer pays for it sorry customer pays for it and uh, that anything which transfer the input to output it, kind of uh, functions will take place that is called either I can say function or transformations which take place. Okay, another definition, the last one is do it right at the first time. Uh, in the value added meaning like even if you try to have a scrap, uh, second pass, third pass yield, first pass yield. So it all always talks about do it right at the first time. That means there is a no room for uh, you have a scrap, rejection and all that. So you have something called do it right at the first time. So this is the three things, anything which falls under this category, we need to tag them into value stream mapping. Let's explore what is non-value added. Non-value added is like opposite to this one. So customer doesn't pay for it. And you know that doesn't add any transformation in the process. that doesn't add value to the process. Another one we have something called Tim Wood. So any wastages you have, the wastages coming from transportations, the wastages coming from inventory, the wastages coming from motions, then wastages coming from waiting time, wastages coming from uh, Tim Wood. So over pro uh, production, over processing, defects are defective and unutilized skill. So these are all the things, anything which all of these has this thing, you need to see all of these things, we need to take into the value stream mapping, convert this as a case and convert this as a solution for all of these if you find anything, uh, the problematic area. The last one we have in between value enabled. Value enabled is something like uh, you know that is part of the regulatory requirement or that is a part of uh, you know statutory requirement. What do you mean by that? Regulatory requirement meaning like that is coming from the standard meaning like ISO, IATF and so on. Statutory meaning meaning like legal law something like that. For example, take an example of tea. When you say tea, uh, so tea has to be hot, right? That is implied requirement. So that means invariably uh, anything you do, the T uh, in, invariably need to be hot, right? So anything which is there that is called value enabled, that is either part of the implied requirement, part of the statutory requirement or part of the statutory requirement, regulatory or statutory. So this is one example of value stream mapping. These are all the term which go along with the VSM. Let's talk about two examples. Let's say in service industry, let's say you wanted to make a report. So th that report you wanted to make a weekly report, you wanted to see how many suppliers have responded and what is the completion of that. So you have to go to the tracker, from the tracker you need to uh, update the tracker, 
from that you need to go back and and analyze it example make a pivot table and then update to ppt and then uh, compose an email and have a send it in email let's say this is what six activity is taking place example so let's say updating the tracker why don't i make it automations so this is something called you can just circle it out you first you can just write down all your steps so let's say okay does it add a value okay we may say yeah it's a non value added maybe we can do an automation update okay this is value added pivot table so i think this is uh, currently we are doing it manually we can uh, convert this as opportunity so analyze analyze how we do manual or this thing let's say we do it manually we have a scope for an automation so currently i will put non value added so ppt sending ppt that is value added an email so let's say uh, that email also can be automated or not so currently it is uh, non value added so so that means out of six processes uh, so let's say 1 2 3 4 four processes we have which is non value added so in this one what we have in in the value added how much we have uh, we have 2 by 6 so these are all the process only we have a value added so that means that these four we need to find out a way to automate uh, the steps uh, so for all of these anything which we have a non value added we need to circle it out and we need to uh, find a project or find a solutions for those things and convert that as a solutions so that's the uh, aim number 1 even if you uh, take an example of uh, manufacturing you have a di different processes and uh, one processes is actually one station is here the other st station is very far away and you wanted to streamline there is you see an up, uh, you know possibility in motions unnecessary motion is taking place then you are thinking of something like we can make it like u type so maybe you know, the, the first process operation can be connected to the next person and so on and so forth so the main objective of vsm is please jot it down all the micro level step that's number 1 once you jot it down all the steps number 2 is identify which is value added which is non value added which is value enabled number 2 number 3 is have a calculation to it how many step go and corresponding to non value added how many steps are value added value added no need to disturb non value added you can take into the scope and then you have a brainstorm and make the solution out of it so this is what uh, it is all about there is also something calculation go with it the cycle time tag time and lead time so we will explore more in the second video and till that take very good care and have a nice day hope you like vsm so have a nice day ahead